guys and welcome to vlogmas day 12 so i'm currently in the process of completing my nursery tour i am so hung oh my camera shaking i am so hungry because i had a piece of toast for breakfast and that is not enough but i wanted to wake up early so the sun doesn't like blind you guys in the video um, anyways, so I'm cutting that loaf that I talked about in yesterday's vlog, the Costco bread. And this is bomb. You guys have to get it if you have a Costco near you. And I whipped out the panini maker because um, I'm going to make paninis. And Doug can't come home for lunch today because he's too busy. So I'm probably going to make his for tomorrow. And yeah, we just got some really good news about Doug's job. So I'm in a very happy mood. Looks like we're probably going to be staying here for the next year. Well, not maybe not in this apartment, but probably um, in the South Bay of Los Angeles. So yeah, today we are in the best mood and wish I could share more with you guys, but got to keep some stuff private. I can't spill everything about my life. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I share too much and it's going to bite me in the butt. Um, I do a budgeting series. Lots of people don't talk about that on their channel. Actually, I don't think really anyone does unless you have a budgeting channel. Um, I talk about... I don't know struggles of being pregnant motherhood I just feel like sometimes I might be too real with you guys but you guys seem to like it so I don't know and honestly I'm a pretty transparent person so I just can't help it so this is my lunch I have a mug because I need to do dishes and I'm drinking water out of it um, and yeah I just made a panini and I'm checking snapchat because let's see my friend Marissa Okay, um, and yeah, I'm gonna eat this now because I am starving. So it just turned three o'clock and I just now finished filming the nursery tour, taking pictures, writing the blog post. Um, so it's probably gonna go up on Wednesday because I just wanna make sure I have everything right in the description box because I'm linking everything. So yeah, I'm just chilling out. Doug actually has to get his car smogged. Well, he's gonna try and get it smogged again because like you guys know, he tried to smog the other day and didn't pass or something happened, I don't even know. Just realized there's Cheerios behind me from last night. Um, but yeah, so he's gonna be home a little bit later. But like I said earlier, um, we got really good news today and so I'm probably gonna make him a good dinner because that would be nice and special. I would make him his favorite dinner that I make, not his favorite dinner ever, but the best food that I make like that he thinks is baked ziti, but I don't think I have. Yeah, I don't have the proper cheeses for that. I'm probably gonna make some sort of a chicken recipe, something with chicken in it. I don't even know why I opened the fridge. Do you guys ever do that? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go on Pinterest or all recipes actually, and look up something that I can make with chicken. And I also have to wrap presents that are on our new heater. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna probably clean up the apartment so he can come home to a clean apartment because it looks I don't know how things get so disheveled. I can't even imagine how it's gonna be with like having an actual family with like kids and stuff because we get it so messy with just two of us in like two days. So yeah, I don't even know, but I need to repowder my face cause look at all that oil. Also, I was just now reading the comments and you guys are like, oh my God, you uploaded the vlog late today. I mean, I don't have a scheduled time, so I don't really know what late is, but two days ago it was definitely late because I think I uploaded at 8 p.m. But yeah, so you guys are like, you uploaded late today, so I thought you went into labor. I'm telling you guys, I really think I'm gonna be induced. I know you guys are gonna laugh because every time I say that, you're like, I thought that too with my first baby. And I had her at, I don't know, 37, 38, 39 weeks but I just have a really weird feeling that she does not want to come out. So I could be completely wrong and go into labor tonight, but I really just don't think so. So don't just think I'm going into labor just because I put up a vlog later in the day. Um, but that might be the case. So yeah, we're going to find out what happens. But for now, I just think she's cozy in there. I don't know. I am so tired like I do not want to clean I don't want to do anything and I forgot my vlog camera I just ran out to go do some errands not that anything was really vlog worthy but I forgot my camera and filming on an iPhone even if it is a 6 plus it sucks like the quality is just not there
so I found a recipe that I wanted to use. It's called chicken and broccoli alfredo bake. And it's not healthy, but I don't know why I have to say that. I just feel like, I don't know, everybody makes healthy stuff in my third trimester and I just don't give a crap. Anyways, so this looks bomb and it's something that Doug would appreciate because he loves pasta bakes. So I got out all the ingredients. If you guys want to follow along, I will leave the link to the exact recipe here from damndelicious.net down below in the description box. So while I'm waiting for my water to boil, I thought I would tell you guys um, something really random. But Doug and I were basically talking yesterday about like privacy and YouTube because it is crazy like how many people um, just like can watch your videos and I don't know, letting them in your life is pretty personal. I feel like it comes really natural for me, but wow, I'm so oily. But at the same time, I think the more a channel grows, the more cautious you have to be. Um, so we were kind of just talking about like, I don't know, just basically the culture of daily vloggers and how they show so much of their life, even if it only is 15 minutes of your day. You're basically also kind of like letting um, a bunch of strangers around the world into your kids' lives as well. And we don't really know how we're gonna feel about that. I mean, obviously we don't have our baby yet, so we don't really know how comfortable we are with putting her on the vlogs or, I don't know, just like, since she doesn't really have a say with being on my YouTube channel and being watched by so many people, not that there's that many people watching, but like I said, the more your channel grows, obviously the more people watch you. So it is kind of just like an interesting concept. So let me know what you guys think about daily vloggers um, and obviously just like family vloggers in general, because like I said, it is kind of invasive, especially if people can recognize you on the street nowadays with YouTube, it's really crazy. So yeah, I don't really know how that's gonna be with raising our babies if I do plan on continuing with YouTube throughout her childhood or blogging or whatever kind of social platform I'm on at the time. A part of me is kind of like, well, if I wouldn't care as a child, if I was being vlogged, is she going to care? If my parents had vlogged my upbringing, I think it's kind of cool like to document, I don't know, maybe not every day of your life, but certain things of your life. And I don't know if I would really care if my um, parents like showed the world me growing up and stuff like that. I think the point I would start to care is like when I approach the preteen age, I probably not want myself on the internet anymore, but as a toddler, I don't really know how much I would care. But at the same time, you can make money doing it. Um, so you're able to be with your parents all the time. Your parents don't have to go to work in the, well, they have to go to work because um, YouTube is a job for some people, but they don't have to put you in daycare. They don't have to do anything like that. So I think there is a big trade off there because you are able to have your parents um, if they are daily vlogs there all the time but at the same time you're on the internet as a child so I don't know how I feel about it and we're probably gonna cross that bridge once stuff starts to happen in like YouTube land when our baby gets bigger but yeah I thought that was an interesting topic and people have strong opinions on it so let me know if you guys would feel comfortable putting your babies on the internet or your toddlers um, I'm probably not gonna lie obviously gonna put her um, our baby, on, I almost said her name, um, our baby on the internet when she's born and as a newborn and stuff. But I don't know how long I'm going to feel comfortable doing that for. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. So I'm messaging my friend Sarah and apparently she watched my vlog or I told her, I don't know, but she said, I get my groceries delivered all the time and it's magical. I was like, yeah, but how much is it? I'm not going to spend like $30 just to get it delivered. And she said, free delivery the first time. And then it's like $10. And I was like, that's almost worth it, especially if I have a newborn baby. I'm not about to do that. I'm gonna ask her where she goes and then I'll let you guys know. She's t currently typing right now. But anyways, so I am making my chicken breast because you need, it's a pasta chicken bake. And I'm making my pasta. Also, I'm so bad at like timing things. I'm really bad at like overcooking things, undercooking things. So I didn't even set a timer for my pasta. Feels al dente, so I'm probably just gonna take it out because nobody likes mushy pasta. This is really dangerous to do with one hand. Okay, so my friend said, she said that she gets it from Instacart. I'll have to check that out. You know when you're like, I think this could use some spice. So you go and you put in your crushed red pepper and you're like, eh, it could use a little more. And eh, what about a little more? Then you try it and your mouth is on fire. Doug's like such a weenie when it comes to spice. He'll say that too, so it's not like he won't disagree with me, but 
this looks like the plainest meal ever but it is really spicy anyways it turned out so good though so i would definitely recommend you guys make it my pan barely fits the stuff so yeah i would recommend using a bigger pan so this is how it turned out i put a little bit too much spice in it what are you doing there i don't know i just felt like something was on my shoe oh yeah i put a little bit too much spice it looks kind of plain but it's got some kick to it try it, it. he likes it starting to come a little bit yeah it's like I'm eating the pepper flakes oh well yeah but oh there it is it's really good though yeah it's really good so doug got bored or something and now he's replying to your guys's comments and i never reply to anything so yeah he's like gonna reply so if you guys get a response from a username doug drips <laughs> it's doug <But> obviously <laughs> it's me i know so i'm back where i belong just kidding <laughs> laying on my side i don't know what we're gonna watch but we're gonna watch something on netflix and doug's it seems like we just been replying to comments the whole time, but he did it for like a second. And now he's back on it. Mm -hmm. um, one of you guys were like, "How do you, um, how did Doug cook that steak?" And I was like, "Reply to her." So he's replying to some of you guys. Doug and I were just discussing what our plan is for when I go into labor if I do go naturally. But like I said earlier, I don't think I will. Um, so, anyways, yeah. So basically, we were coming up with scenarios. And I was like, okay, so I'm going to go into labor and chances are you'll probably be at work. So I'm going to call you and I was like, make sure your phone's on vibrate because he'll be in like a meeting or something and then not get my phone call. And I'll have to go to his work, which is down the street, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that in labor. I don't know. And then I was like, then I'm going to take a shower, do my hair and makeup because apparently you have time like to, I don't know, you have to wait for your contractions to be, I think my doctor told me 10 minutes apart because our hospital's kind of far. So I think usually they say come to the hospital at five minutes or something like that, but I'm gonna wait eight to 10 um, minutes in between my contractions to leave. So yeah, I'm gonna take a shower, eat something because you need your strength, do my hair and makeup. This is like in my fantasy land. Watch I go into labor. I was telling Doug and I just start crying so I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this is what I want to happen I want to be all prepared but watch it happens and I'm gonna be at like um Vons or something shopping or I don't know in a really random place and I won't even have my hospital bag with me I should probably just put that in the car huh Doug put what in the car my hospital bag yeah unless you want to get something out of it like I did yeah Haley he keeps... was like pack up your pack up your service pro 3 this was like three weeks ago <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. I was like, pack up your. It was your just hit. sitting in a bag in the living room. I was like, pack your deodorant. He's like, I need that. <laughs> I was telling Doug that I don't want him to read the comments because then he'll realize how many people watch. Not that there's that many, but the more that you guys watch, the more aware he'll be. And mm -hmm. see, you're agreeing with me. Well, no, the the more like the more that people watch, the more comments there will be. Yeah, but it's and not like I'm gonna stop doing. No, but he'll doing. he'll be aware that more people are watching, and he won't be himself. That's what I think. I'll continue to be myself. Don't you worry. Okay. Um, but the moment you're like, no, don't put that in the vlog. I'm gonna be like, no more reading comments for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm really full. An inside secret: Haley doesn't even let me watch the videos when she's around. Yeah, because I don't want to hear myself talk. I know. I just hear, hey guys, and she goes, ugh, Dude, <laughs> it just when, dies. <laughs> when Doug or my mom is the worst, when my mom or my friends play my videos when I'm there, I just want to strangle. I just want to take the computer and throw it out, <laughs> out the window. Nobody wants to, it's almost like hearing yourself, not quite as bad, but it's like hearing yourself when you're trying to record a voicemail or uh, the, your voicemail box, yeah. like greeting, and you just want to die. I try doing that at work. Oh, in front of everybody? Yeah. <laughs> That's not cool. So I just watched 20 minutes of drifting videos. And now Doug's looking up his dream dad car. It is the... There's a couple of different ones. So the first one that I want, that apparently is no longer sold in the States, or hasn't been sold in the States for a while, is an Audi uh, S6 Avant, which is like a station wagon. And I would just take an Audi station wagon of some sort to be a dad for a dead car. Good thing I don't care about cars. <laughs> this Toyota Sienna. Are you kidding me? You have to get it real close. No. Does it work? Yes. Look at that thing slammed. I'm not trying so to lower the freaking. Dude, my low Toyota Sienna. How sick would that thing be? No. 
Too bad we're saving up to buy our cars in cash. Yeah. Oh, look <laughs> at this one. So an Audi's definitely not going to happen. What? Or a freaking minivan. Tug that Look how low it is. Scrape game. Why? Street sweepers. Oh, God. Look at that thing. No. No. My dream mom car. What's that car, Doug? Yeah, Panamera, right? Porsche. No. Porsche Cayenne. Do you want the SUV or the wagon? The wagon. Panamera. Porsche Panamera. I'm pretty sure. They're all over the town we live in. Every time I see them, I want it so bad, but yeah, it's a crazy price for a car. And then I also really like the Range Rovers because they're just badass. This is like in a dreamland, obviously. And what else do I like? I think that's about it. Every new mom gets a crossover and I really like driving fast cars. That's why I have my Mazda like um, six speed. I like going fast. But then I thought about it and I was like, you're not going to go fast with a baby in a, your car. You mm -hmm. idiot. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's a Subaru Legacy station wagon. Doug loves Subaru as well. Look at that thing. We don't so need cool. a Subaru. We don't live in the snow. No, but you can slam it. Oh. So I thought I would end the vlog because we're talking nonsense and Doug's going to do the comment of the day. So this one comes from Lucia Ronan. Uh, she says, I did not know that you can ask for sauerkraut. Totally doing that next time. Talking about the time when we went to Costco. Costco. Yeah. My old roommate used to take her soda <laughs> cup and fill it up with those pre-cut onions. She said she felt it was the same price as a soda. It was so weird seeing that cup on our fridge. It cracked us all up. Your friend is weird, so, but I like the idea of pre-chopped onions ready to go. So you're telling me your friend hoarded onions <laughs> from Costco. <laughs> Took one of the cups, one of the big Pepsi cups, and just sat there at the thing like... <laughs> and just cranked out onions. That, that's an onion that's lover awesome. for sure. Yeah. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. If you liked it, give, give it, it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you for Vlogmas Day 13, I think. It's 13. Okay, bye guys.